One of the important components in open cast mining is blasting. This activity calls for precision as well as large amount of safety measures to be followed before its execution. Blasting operations are performed to loosen and fragment minerals or rock. As you know, unless blasting is conducted, the desired materials like limestone or coal cannot be easily extracted from the earth. This training module explains the various procedures and safety measures that are involved in the transportation of explosives for conducting a blasting operation at a mining site with specific focus on the following areas safety and qualification requirements, safe handling of explosives and blasting agents, transporting, loading and unloading explosives. After completing this training, you will learn the various procedures that are involved in the transportation of explosives, detonators and ammonium nitrate fuel oil ANFO, from the magazine or mixing shed to a blasting site. Transportation of Explosives The standards and national legislation that should be followed are Compliance with the Fatality Prevention Elements FPEs, Vehicle and Traffic Safety Appendix 36 of the Regulations of the Directorate General of Mine Safety DGMS The Directives of the Chief Controller of Explosive CCOE The Indian Explosive Act 1884 Code of Practice for Mining Operations Metalliferous Mines Regulations MMR 1961 Explosive Rules ER 2008 Check before starting the operation. Make sure to check alcohol intake of the drivers. Check the quality of ammonium nitrate AN prilled form and cartridge explosive leakage from cartridge and inspect the fuse head of detonators for firm contacts. The emergency measures required before performing any blasting operation are Arrange security personnel to accompany explosive transportation. Make sure mobile phones are available for communication. Likewise, siren, red flags, stoppage of handling explosives during thunderstorm. The employees engaged in blasting operations must have a sound knowledge on properties of explosives and its handling with relevant competency certificate issued by the DGMS. Check the vehicle transporting explosives. To ensure safe operation of the vehicle transporting explosives, the following safety precautions must be strictly observed. A competent and licensed driver shall drive the vehicle. The driver must conduct a safety inspection on a daily basis. As per the checklist, the driver must obey speed limits up to 25 km per hour. Unauthorized driving or riding is prohibited. The van carrying explosives shall not be driven in a dangerous or reckless manner. The vehicle must be driven only on designated roads. Do not leave the vehicle unattended or drive past fires. Explosives and detonators shall not be transported in the same vehicle at the same time. Do not load vehicle beyond explosive licensing limit and ensure only explosives are carried in the vehicle. Safe handling of explosives Bale hooks or other metal tools shall not be used, nor shall be thrown or dropped while loading, unloading and handling of explosives. Do not load or unload explosives from a vehicle while the engine is running. Use wheel chocks and apply hand brakes as per Rule 64.2 of ER 2008. In the event of a breakdown of the vehicle carrying explosives, Towing shall follow Rule 65 of ER 2008. Follow 